Hey y'all, so if you don't know me yet, hopefully you're beginning to. When I go into my quiet mode, it's I'm getting lots of downloads from spirit, right? So I'm sitting here, nice zen energy. <sighs> right? Okay. So the message that I just got through here, a couple months back, um, I had reached out to Styles P, right? Um, because I had seen that he was doing some healing things and, you know, I always looked up to him as, you know, being a, a rapper that I liked and things like that. Um, and I, I just felt like building was um, a priority at the time for a lot of people in the collective. This is what everyone was talking about. So I reached out and we had exchanged a couple emails back and forth, um, dropped a couple gems, right? Um, and I was kind of hoping it would go a little bit further than it did. It didn't. It's okay. Things happen, right? Sorry about that. Okay, I had to do something real quick, but whatever the case, so that was that, right? Um, time went on, I never, you know, reached out, never heard anything back, and I was like, okay, but I had noticed when I started going on uh, Instagram, I had noticed, like, his posts and the different things he would say, the healing things, and I'm like, since when are you, like, um, a healer? Like, when did this start? And I just, I remember I had this thought before, and it was like, you know, there are certain people who are in these positions, right, one, one, one at a time, who feel like they're the only ones to have them, or they feel like, you know, other people shouldn't have a chance or a shot at, you know, being great or being who they are, or being the best version of themselves. And a lot of this is like, you know, people in the industry, a lot of men who are entitled to their position and spot and don't want to give it up. And I say this because, like, when I say this, I mean it with the most respect, but kind of it's like, you know, if you got to go to these measures to harvest people's energy, other women, you know, they call it siphoning energy. Like, we have these men on here um, who are doing these things that are more so geared toward, you know, women clientele and, you know, more so it's like these holistic things were meant for certain individuals, right? And there are people that are crossing over lanes to try to do what certain people were chosen to do. And so now here's the time where it's like, Spirit's like, no, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Like, you have gifts in this area. Your gifts are over here. You have gifts over here. You have Everyone has their own gift in their own lane. You understand? And there are people who are jumping in everyone else's lane to attain what it is they feel like they should have to stay on top. And that's not what this is about. So I just found out one of my biggest doppelgangers and um, the person who's been literally like watching me. I, I told you I know who my Page of Swords is. Well, now here's the clarification because I had to get a couple more downloads. But it came in for me as to who my Page of Swords is. And for people who have platforms like myself, especially a woman, a black woman who is speaking empowerment to other women, other men, that they can tap into a collective consciousness of other rappers, other musicians, to bring about a shift. You see who will attack me for the things that I say, you understand? Okay, my ear, right ear. Uh, my right ear was blocked, it's opening up. So someone that has a lot to do with my throat chakra. So I know that someone is not wanting me to speak or there's someone who is watching me that wants to stop me from speaking or doesn't want me to get the information out. But here it is, okay? That's who's watching me. And I learned of all the deception that he, this person, Eight of Swords, has been doing to me to keep me stuck, trapped, creating a lot of illusions, paying people. Six of Pentacles, when it comes to magic, talks about paying people. So this, this person, this, this rapper that I mentioned, has been paying people, right, to do death rituals on me, has been paying people to harvest my energy, right, and cloaking themselves. Because I'm a divine feminine, right? Okay. And this person has been trying to, we talked about those blocking rituals, these people in positions of power, they feel like they're the one on top and they don't care about nobody else coming up, regardless of what they say. These are the actions. So when you come into my energy and you try to quiet me, my ancestors will immediately put up a block. So seven of wands that you were trying to block when it came to me and what I was trying to bring to the collective about opening them up to the Aquarius energy that is here is the seven of wands is going back to you for trying to block. I, I heard trying to block divine feminines. You were paying people. You were paying people to block divine feminines is what I heard from going after their ten of pentacles and inheritance. I felt it before in the past but today I got the the clarification that I need through cards 
of what was going on in my energy, and I'll pull them again so you guys can see them, okay? I don't make nothing up. I would never speak on anything unless it was true and accurate. I know what I speak on. I know who's in my energy, okay? I said before, if you don't want to be called out, don't play in my energy, right? So let's see. What do I need to know when it, when it comes to what I speak on, when it comes to has, who has been trying to uh, bind me or block my opportunities and pain? Um, am I accurate? Am I accurate with saying that this is Styles P? Am I making the right judgment call right now? Hermit in reverse talks about secrets being exposed as well. Talks about that cloak falling off. Talks about the dark side of spirituality and practices. The hermit in reverse is someone who deals and dabbles in dark arts. So when it comes to me, what was this for? Why was this happening? After I reached out as I was guided to. Christian, come here, have a seat. Have a seat. To stop me from receiving an opportunity that I said was coming, right? This has been going on for months. Now I'm realizing there was a couple months back where I had things that were coming in. It was coming in so rapidly. And then all of a sudden it just stopped. It just stopped out of nowhere after I had been in this person's energy. And I said, what is going on? What is going on? How do I know this? Because I'm a high priestess. So I, I gave this person some of my energy, Styles P, right? And in turn, then what was done, a reading was done on me, right? So the reading was done on me, and then this person that I had reached out to, to ask for guidance, began to work on me. Because he saw my birth chart, right? Because he looked at my birth chart. Okay, let's continue. What else do I need to know about this individual that I'm speaking on? Why? This person also paid to stop my spiritual contract. Yeah, this person that I speak on, Styles P, yes, the rapper we all know and love, paid a high level practitioner to do a death ritual on me. You see these cards, right? What is that? The love is. I made the right choice in knowing what I speak of. Again, these cards that are coming up. Out this way, please. Out of here, please. Give me that. Give me that, please. Hold on one second, guys. Give me that, please. Go ahead, out of here. Oh, you can stay there. That's fine. But no one's getting that right now. Okay. Sorry. You guys see in the energy, right? Okay. So let me get um, one more card to confirm what I'm saying about this artist. Whoa. Judgment, anyone who knows tarot knows there's no coming back from this. Judgment, queen of swords. I'm calling judgment on the situation because I see it clearly. On who in the collective, right, has been sending me this energy. Emperor in reverse. This is not my masculine. But this person has been wanting me to fear my masculine. If I fear my masculine, I will not wake my masculine up, correct? But that was not what God was guiding these people to do. But they took it upon themselves to try to bring chaos and destruction in these group situations to chosen beings. I'm not the only one, but I am the one that the Most High said was strong enough to speak it out and cast it away. There are many, many, many people out here who have gone through certain things like this. We have copycats in all levels and layers of this, right? From our family to our jobs to people we don't even know to people who see our gifts and see how passionate and driven we are and how we won't be conflicted or stopped and how we are here to do something, right? And so they come in and try to do the opposite. So you guys, watch, you know, you know, pay attention. Use your spiritual discernment. Yes, even these people who are in these positions of power have the power to lie. Okay? Overall... What will happen? You guys will rise above these situations like I will. I don't fear what I speak on because I know it to be true. I'm moving forward while this individual, this artist who tried to block me from my creative genius is being stopped in his tracks because my ancestors say it is what it is. And this is what is meant to happen. 
for all of the work that you put in negatively against the earth angel that is me, who was sent to you to help you in your time of need when you were grieving. She was there, and you worked against her. You worked against the divine. What else? Victory and success is what is coming because it's mine. I worked for it. I worked hard for it. I didn't steal no healing ideas from nobody. I didn't watch, stop, plan, plot on anybody to get what I got. I got everything from the divine and my source. So when it comes to all the stuff and all the ideas that people think they're siphoning and taking from me and cloaking themselves and making me feel like I'm crazy, I'm not. I talk to the people who are not here. Not just the ones who are. I talk to the greats. You know, the Tupacs, the Biggies, the Nipsies. I talk to them. So they let me know what's going on in the, in the musical world as well. I'm attuned, okay? What else do I need to know? Positive energy, and then I'm out of here. So the collective can see, like Drake said, you know how sticky it gets. Is this the Virgo that's been in my energy? that's been trying to throw me off balance for a good six, seven months? Spirit, let me know. Let me know, Spirit. Is this the individual who's been trying to... Yeah. Yeah, it is. Strength. The power of my intuition to unveil who has been trying to keep me blocked off. Someone I never thought it would be. Remember we talked about them burdens being lifted. The burden of who? The false divine masculines out here that are promoting themselves to be these, these great teachers, these healers, these, these magicians, these wizards, these people that are righteousness and real and true. No, that is not the case. Now are the times where people are starting to be exposed. And then emperor in reverse is not someone that can place burdens on divine beings in any way, shape, form, or fashion. That's an illusion in itself. Okay? So yeah, that's an illusion in itself. Moon card. I said earlier, right? I'm moving past all illusions with the help of my ancestors and my spirit guides. Well, those of y'all, okay, false teachers out here, get stuck in the illusions that you wanted for all of those that are going to awaken because they will awaken. And as I say it, so shall it be. I said there are people out here that are doing things with the frequencies in their music. There are people out here that are doing things with the frequencies and the words that they speak. This is why I say use spiritual discernment. After I did that live this morning, my right ear was blocked. I get on here and I do this message. It's healing for me as well. That's how I know that I am accurate on the artist that I am speaking on. I am talking to a collective. And as I say it, this energy is being transmuted for the highest good of all concerned. As I say it, it's now done. <laughs>